A frenzied celebration as President Trump's motorcade drove through downtown Washington. The event billed as a million MAGA march, although turnout nowhere near that. Marchers tell CBS News Trump's election loss is not something they're willing to accept. We're not conceding because we've won the election. Kylie Jane Kramer leads Women for America First and says nothing she's seen so far convinces her President-elect Joe Biden's win is legitimate. I am sorry, but I have to correct you. He is not president-elect. The media does not call the election. <laughs> Joe Biden! <laughs> Joe Biden! <laughs> Antifa! Far-right groups like the Proud Boys, linked to white supremacy and violence, made themselves visible at Saturday's event. There are people on both sides that um, are turning out today. Fearing potential clashes with counter-protesters, D.C. police shut down streets and disallowed weapons. Saturday's demonstration ends here at the steps of the Supreme Court, and you can see police separating supporters of President Trump from counter-protesters. But despite what these marches want, none of the legal challenges against the election results are likely to end up here. The tension, though, is likely to remain. Jamie? Oh, Burnett, thank you.